Vodafone is one of the founding members of the Common NFVI Telco Task Force. Marcus Wapping, Head of Cloud Centre of Excellence at Vodafone, explains why the Telco supports the work of the CNTT and discusses the importance of open source to the operator. So for us, CNTT is really to drive the infrastructure platforms at scale, right? So when we started um, our virtualization journey, everything was very siloed. Yeah, and, and that's expensive, not repeatable, especially if you think about automation on, on top, right? Um, you need to ensure that the automation is running for every single silo that you do. Yeah, so what we are want to achieve with CNTT is really a common platform. Telcos don't differentiate on infrastructure, right? So we uh, differentiate on, on services. Yeah, so why not build really a community across the operators initially? and bring them together, solve the problems jointly, or if at and have solved the problem that we face, just learn from that, and that's really the idea behind, and also bring um, the VNF vendors on, on top of that um, into the community. There are plenty of examples um, in open source communities that are successful, right? Think about Linux, OpenStack, Kubernetes, and all that stuff. Um, it's not rocket science, right? It's really bringing people together, having the right moderation on the table, and taking jointly decisions, yeah. We are part of a division called um, Technology Strategy and Architecture, and my team basically defines um, all the standards, how we want to consume cloud, and how we build our private cloud platforms, yeah, up to the um, design level, let's say, and then we bring that into our markets that they can deploy it um, in a consistent way, following the CNTT approach again, yeah, consistent platform, uh, working across um, all our operating companies and operating teams uh, to bring that um, to life. I think cloud native is, is really the, the thing that makes it at scale. Right, so virtualization delivers a lot of benefit, don't, don't get me wrong there, um, but to be able to scale, also to bring it into the 5G context, IoT and all these um, kind of things, and that's where cloud native really plays. I think if you just think about container platforms, Kubernetes is the de facto standard, right? It's open source, so it will be definitely part of it, and we, we strongly believe in it yeah, to collaborate um, in the open source community. I think the key is contribution, right, and, and push um, that everybody contributes, yeah, that you don't have just a lead um, operator or lead vendor into the community, um, bring that into a real open dynamic uh, process there. And then you need to have a proper release and lifecycle uh, management around what you do in the community, right? So you need to have strict dates by, I don't know, first of April we want to deliver this, six months later we have the next release and climb up the, the environment. Yeah, make it tangible and, and consumable for, for us. Especially CNTT, we have also the vendors part of it, right? So they need to make money, and that's fine. Um, and we need to help them to do that in a consistent way across the uh, different um, operators that are part of the community. Yeah, and they will drive that, right? Um, I, I have no doubt on, on that one. And, and that's happening if in almost all uh, communities, Linux, right? You have different distributions um, from different vendors, OpenStack the same, yeah, um, that's a way to, to really scale it. Um, but we need to be aligned on the operator base um, that we do it consistent and that then the vendors don't need to develop silos um, to work with operator A, B, C. We have operations in the countries, our network is live, uh, it will not be a big bang approach that from day one uh, from one day to the other, let's say, uh, we will switch off the old and everything is on the new, right? So um, we took um, up to now decisions to do it service by service, yeah, modular base, like you said, um, moving first voice and data um, into um, the virtualized environment. And I'm pretty sure we will take a similar approach moving into a cloud native um, open source world.